Morning, this arrived in the post and it's a Munji EGR delete module for the Isuzu D-Max uh, 2012 onwards fitted with the uh, 2.5 twin turbo diesel now we all know that if you own one there's a problem with the DPFs keep regening and stuff like this every 50 to 180 miles so hopefully this is supposed to help it takes about two minutes to fit and we'll see what the results are like when we're on the road. It's about one minute to fit, including opening up the bonnet. It goes in between the math sensor. So it must adjust the readings of some, some sort to help. So I just fill it up. Simply slide off that. Pull that out of the way. Plug in the new one. Oh no, I've got it the wrong way around, haven't I? <laughs> Goes like that. Click. Bring that round to the main sensor. Right. There we go. Fitted. Lovely jubbly. As easy as that. Make sure that's properly plugged in. Yep. Cool. I do a lot of uh, heavy towing with mine, so it's going to be a good test to put it straight away. Got about a 70 mile run each way to do. We'll see how many times it regens. And when we start the truck up, it shouldn't bring up any error messages, I hope. And they did say that the revs would rise on cold start, which it is. I think it's really cold. No error messages. I'll just close the bonnet down, hitch up my trailer and um, get it on the road. I've just been to the petrol station, just brimmed up the truck as far as possible so we'll see what we get miles tank to tank and um, the cold revs once it's warm stops and the truck acts like normal first impressions it does seem a little bit smoother and the flat spot that you get in first gear seems to have narrowed down a little bit but I'll do a little bit more driving to to check on that to make sure what I say is correct Right, so first impressions, just arrived at my destination. Uh, so you can see I've done 60 miles there. Uh, and 20 running. And the DPF is that full so far, plus whatever I've done yesterday since the last regeneration. So it seems to be working, but what I will do is I'll carry on driving and let the DPF do a regen and then we'll count the miles once it's fully empty again well also it says <laughs> there we go finally after driving it's gone into a regen and that is after 168 miles so it's definitely improved that um, let's hope the miles per gallon go up so I'm about to enter into another regen, 329 miles in this tank, which is not bad. I uh, had a Nissan Patrol on earlier, which is quite a big old beast, and then uh, a few other smaller cars. So yeah, this thing seems to be working quite nicely.